What's up, Flex Fam? Wednesday workout this week is our interval based stamina workout. So, Pathfinder is the workout today. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and get into a warm up. We're gonna have a dynamic warm up, really a flow series. So, we're gonna do a flow of movements, 30 seconds each movement. It's gonna take us about nine minutes to get through everything. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a jog in place. Right, and we're going to be doing each of these for 30 seconds. So we'll do jogs in place to start. We'll then go knee hugs. We'll alternate on the knee hug. Once we get our knee hugs, we'll go quad pulls. So we're alternating on a quad pull. We'll then go side to side bend. So we'll take our feet and go wide. And we can work from side to side. After side to side bend, we're going to go lateral step over. We've got an imaginary hurdle, and we're stepping over this hurdle. We'll then go back to jogs in place. Jogs in place. Now getting a little more dynamic, we're gonna go high knees, pull the knees into the chest, and then from high knees, we're gonna go body weight squats. Trying to work a good range of motion here. If we can get into a deep position, we'll go as low as we can. From bodyweight squats, we'll go butt kicks, pulling the heels in towards the bottom, and then we're going to go lateral step squats. So now we step out, squat, step up. Step the other way, squat, step up. So every step, we hit a squat. We'll then go jumping jacks. And then back to jogs in place. Now final phase, we're going to go bodyweight squats again. Bodyweight squats, we'll go sit ups. Sitting up tall, trying to get our elbows to our knees. From sit ups, we'll go leg cycles. Sit back, pedaling the pedals with our feet. From leg cycles, we'll go push ups. We can do these from the knees if we need to. Making sure we're getting our chest down and we're always getting a full extension on each rep. From push-ups, we're going back to bodyweight squat. And then we'll finish the round with jogs in place. And that's our warm-up. 30 seconds each movement. Now it's time to get into the workout. Pathfinder is our interval based stamina workout for the week. So Pathfinder is split into three different sections. Each section is gonna be 10 minutes. We'll have three minutes of rest in between each section. So for the first section, we're looking to do 20 alternate knee tucks and a 150 meter run. If we aren't doing run, then we can modify with the burpee. We can go 10 burpees in place of the 150 meter run. Our goal is to get six rounds of this. If we are to do six rounds in 10 minutes, then we're gonna get a little bit of extra rest time in between our intervals here. So alternate knee tuck is gonna be down on the hands. We're taking our feet from one side, tucking them to the other, and working back into the middle on every rep there. Once we get 20 total, 10 per side, we're then gonna go for a 150 meter run. If we're in the parking lot outside, 150 meters is gonna be about half of a lap. So we'll work around the bush and then through the tether poles, coming back to our mat in our central location in the parking lot. If you're at home, try to figure out what you think is about 150 meters. That's probably gonna take you about 40, 30 to 40 seconds roughly to, to cover that distance depending on how fast you're going. So 150 meter run, if we're not doing running, we can do burpees, we can go 10 burpees. We know the standard with those. We hit the ground all the way, chest to the floor, and then feet come up into the air at the top of our rep there. That'll be our first 10 minutes. Once we complete that, we're taking three minutes of rest. We're then going into our second segment. Second segment, again, 10 minute AMRAP. This time around, we're going 25 seated band rower and a 300 meter run. So we're increasing that run distance. We're changing up our accessory movement here. So seated band rower, the way this will work is with the band, we're gonna place our feet inside the band. So we've got, you know, 
got one foot on the right side here, left foot on the other side, and my hands are grabbing in the middle of the band. Now what I can do is, imagine I'm on the row, I'm gonna start in a you know, crushed position. Knees are kind of pulled in, right? Arms are long. From this position, I'm gonna kick the legs out and pull the arms in and kind of rock back. Almost like I'm going into a hollow hold position and doing a high pull simultaneously. So we're gonna go 25 reps on the seated band rower, really pulling on that band, trying to get it as close to your chest as you can. Once you finish those 25, this time it's a 300 meter run. So if we're at the, in the parking lot, we're going a full lap. If we're at home, we're trying to figure out roughly what 300 meters is. Again, that'll probably take us around like that 60 second to, you know, a minute and 10, minute and 15 seconds roughly to cover 300 meters. Right, and then from there, if we're doing burpees, we can go 20 burpees in place of the run. So we're going for four rounds in part two. Four rounds is the goal for part two. If you get through four rounds, then you've got some extra rest time before part three. And in part three, we're looking to do 30, 30 reps of the banded conventional deadlift. Once we get a 30 banded conventional deadlifts, we're then gonna take it into a 600 meter run. So banded conventional deadlift is gonna be done like so. We're gonna place our feet on the middle of the band. We can grab to the outside of the band. And then we're standing tall, pulling that band from the floor, using our feet to cinch that band down. All right, if we wanna make it harder, we grab closer to our feet. If we need to make it easier, we try to get, you know, the furthest grip that we can on that band. After 30 reps, 600 meter run, which is two long laps if we're outside in the parking lot, right? That's probably going to take you guys upwards of, you know, two to two and a half minutes, roughly, to get that 600 meters in. And then, if we're doing burpees, we're going to go for 30 reps on our burpee, right? The goal on this one is to get two rounds. So if you get two rounds on part three, then you're done with the workout. Let's get it. Keep flexing.